All right, y'all, welcome back to Movement Link. We've got another workout prep exercise or kind of kind of sequence here, circuit, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I like to do a lot uh, just for variation and to give us more uh, balance and stability work as we're getting in those super light kind of boring reps that turn into just monotonous, go for it. Uh, this is going to be pairing together. I like to superset some uh, some pressing and, and leg work together when I'm warming up for things. This is going to be pairing together one-legged deadlifts with one-legged presses overhead. And each are going to challenge our body in a little bit different way here. So we can use barbells. I actually have dumbbells and some kettlebells over here. Uh, so maybe I'll demo some of those. We'll kind of see if that's needed at all. But all we're going to do for the one-legged deadlift we have more videos on one-legged deadlift, so we'll just go over the 101 real fast. But to create stability, and the barbell works really well, because if I stand looking right at the camera, that barbell should be facing, facing you. If my hips are facing to the right, you see that left end come forward, opposite other end comes forward. So if I'm looking for two-legged stability, I should be here, but with that right foot facing the camera, if I'm gonna be balancing on my right foot, I'm actually gonna create stability in that leg by bringing that left side a little bit forward. My back toes are always gonna be pointed down, so I'm gonna create that, that deadlift angle, and then I don't, don't think of it as a deadlift. Most people do a stiff-legged deadlift when they should be deadlifting. Think of it as a squat. So I'm just gonna squat as low as I can perfectly, and then I'm gonna come back up, okay? I've always got this other leg back here. You can alternate them, you can go sets on one side, but you got this other leg back here. So as I go, I'm gonna create the angle. I'm gonna start going down. Let's say I get off, kickstand, get back on, and deadlift back up. So now uh, I have a little bit of uh, help if I need it there, just with that trailing leg. The other thing, to think about is don't worry too much about how low you're going. Obviously, we eventually want you to go down to about the height that you'd be able to go down if bumper plates were on it, just because that expresses a full range of the position. But in the beginning, worry more about balance of your foot, not doing any goofy things as you go down. If you can get to the knee, below the knee, great job. Go as low as you can perfectly. Don't reach to prioritize uh, how low you're going. Put the priority on doing it right, then priority on how low you're going. So that's going to be the one-legged deadlifts. Uh, what I like is coming out of there, if we're going to do more uh, one-legged stuff, what we can do is just balance on one leg. And now, ooh, this is going to be hard to do. Press and come back down and we can play around one-legged presses. So this is very different than doing kind of stability work on the shoulders because it's almost full body stability work. But now we can still warm up for presses in a challenging way. We can go back and forth. What I always find is the first one is shaky like that one is. And as I kind of chip through it, they get way more solid as I go. I can go one arm, one foot things. I can get two dumbbells. I can go two dumbbells overhead. I can go bottom up with one leg with the kettlebell. Man, lucky I got all this stuff just sitting right here today. Uh, so I can go one leg, one up, bottom up, press, and then this is good because now I'm just sitting here ready for a one-legged deadlift. So there's so many variations of this, but this combination and this super set of one-legged deadlifts and one-legged presses is great little gist. Go from your general warm-up hit this, work some balance, stability. This will warm you up big time. This kind of focuses on those legs, but great for thruster days, great for squatting days. You get some pressing work in, just a great, great workout prep uh, kind of sequence that you can do. You can progress from harder and harder things. Uh, so you can start, probably the easiest is gonna be single dumbbell. So you can start with single dumbbell, then you could go to bottom up kettlebell, then you can go barbell, and then you could even load the barbell. So you could even do this as a sequence across a few weeks. Great, great stuff to do once or twice a week across a few weeks, and then touch in on that a few times a year. Oof, man, that's gonna be some good stuff. Hope this helps, hope you enjoy, talk to you soon.